Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 18, 2021. If you like support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. So the US dollar index did uh, depreciate today, and we did also see a rally in the Great British Pound and the US dollar today. We are up 0.41% uh, at this current stage, and we are testing the previous lows from last week. If you manage to go above 1415, uh, then we may go and test uh, previous highs all the way up here at 1423 and beyond that. It looks like this was basically the bottom and then we are going to break these previous highs here and continue significantly higher. If we were to break down, then the 20 exponential moving average should offer a massive support. If you look at technical indicators, they are all very bullish. The MACD is bullish, RSI is bullish, CCI is bullish, Stochastic is bullish. And we are approaching over stretch conditions here in the, uh, the Bollinger Band. We're getting really close to the top and we are significantly overbought as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, pullback could be expected before we break uh, through this line. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. We continue fourth day where we are basically declining or depreciating and we're hitting the 20 exponential moving average here at 109 uh, 145 if you look at technical indicators they are all turning around except for the macd that's just above the signal line yet uh, at this point so rsi is bearish the cci is becoming bearish the stochastic is bearish and we're testing the middle of the bullish band if that basically breaks then we could see this drop down towards the middle the bottom of the bullish band which a drop of roughly 1% to the downside, down to 108, 0.66. And that's basically the previous lows here. So, yeah, it's not looking very good for this currency pair. To the upside, if we were to rally here, you'll mostly find major resistance at 109. So, Euro US dollar, we can see that we have uh, still are still rallying. We did break down on Friday. Uh, tested this um, previous resistance line and now we're basically finding it as support so we may continue rallying from here we'll most likely find the next resistance around the 12 18 16 that is just above here not very far where we are at this current stage technical indicators are very bullish uh, macd is bullish rsi cci and stochastic all are bullish and we are quite far away from the top of the bullish by the stat not very far away, but still, um, this could rally uh, significantly further before uh, pulling back. We're not overbought yet, so we may get a test of this uh, previous highs. If we break above here, then we will go significantly higher. So let's look at the Aussie dollar, US dollar, and there are several obstacles in the way for this uh, currency pair. We have 0 0.78, 15, uh, 90, and then to 0 0.80. So we are up 0.23% at this current stage. Technical indicators are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, RSI is bullish, CCI is flat, and stochastic is bullish. So if we manage to break above the middle of the bullish band, then we are probably going towards the top of the uh, bullish band, which is roughly at 0 0.7851.8. Uh, so almost to the previous highs from, from uh, last week. To the downside, we should see a lot of uh, support at the 100 moving average, 50 and 150 moving average, especially the 150 moving average. So kind of favoring the upside at the moment as there's quite a lot of support underneath. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. This continues to depreciate. Uh, so uh, yes, what you can say, we have basically broken through uh, the, the um, support line here. And if we manage to get a full red candlestick underneath this uh, support line, then we may drop significantly further. We are fairly close to the bottom of the bullish band, and we are oversold at this current stage. However, other technical indicators are looking very dreadful for this currency pair. If we were to rally fr from here, we may find major resistance at the 20 expansion moving average at the 1222. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and good luck and thank you very much.